Morning, Barry. Good morning. You okay? Yes, fine, thank you. Good, good. Okay, so read a few lessons. Um, so um, last week we just sort of briefly touched on um, signals and so on. Um, you said you wanted to move it on the lesson. Um, you said you wanted to have a go at pedestrian crossings. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, during the lesson, we've come across a couple, but you said you were unsure. What That's was it? Right. What was it you were unsure of? I think just because I know there's various types of crossings, and just making sure I know, you know, when do I need to stop, and okay, you know, where's the point where you can carry on, or okay. where you need to stop. Okay, good. I can go into that. That's no problem. Um, okay, so just thinking back to the mirrors and signals, what routine did that form part of? So that that's that um, mirror signal manoeuvre. Excellent, so we'll use that on yeah. today's lesson. Okay. Um, so in terms of your knowledge with the crossings, pedestrian mm -hmm. crossings, uh, thinking about the scaling we've been doing, um, at the end of the lesson you said you scaled yourself on the knowledge for pedestrian crossings quite low you said about a two or a three didn't you yeah just because i did, don't really know the the proper procedures okay. and all the different types okay. and where do you want that two or three to be later on today well, probably wants to be like you know five six or seven you know Excellent. as high as possible okay so if we give you the knowledge mm. and the practice do you think you'll achieve that? I think so, yeah, if I can practice a few. Okay, so do you want me to go through the explanations for it um, before we practice? or I think so, want? yeah, just so I can okay. get it in my mind before drying them out. All right, great, excellent. Um, okay, we can certainly do that, that's no Good. problem. Um, so with pedestrian crossings then, um, you've come across the main type, the zebra crossing. Mm. Um, now, who who has priority there then you know if you're driving up to a crossing do you know who the who's going to have priority i suppose it is the priority more for the pedestrian it it tees if they step on the crossing yeah yeah if they're waiting on the side then you should as a courtesy uh, aim to slow down and stop yeah? yeah but if once they step on the crossing then they have priority yeah right okay. so we've got to first of all recognize it because yeah. the anticipation that one's coming up yeah crossing yeah we can then plan for it yeah so spotting is quite important how mm. would you spot a zebra crossing um well, it's usually got all the stripes on the road excellent the stripes yeah and then you've got those two flashing lights Beacons, on the top excellent yeah, as in this diagram notes. great possibly a sign mm. yeah such as that one there but okay. not always yeah um so really once you've spotted it you need to react to the situation yeah right. so um thinking about your routine what's the first thing you're going to do um, I think look to see if any people are by the crossing. Good. Just before that, mm. thinking about assessing speed and distance of vehicles behind. Right. Why would that be interest, uh, important? Um, I suppose just so you know when you're stopping, how it's going to affect all these people behind. Great. So NSM routine. Then you said look for people, which is great, excellent. Yeah. So if there's no one there, what do you think you'll do with your speed? Um, I think if there's no one there, you can carry on. Yeah, so you can just make sure that no one else is stepping out or mm. running towards it. Yeah. Um, but you can probably hold your speed there. But if someone's, like this diagram, someone's approaching it, a pedestrian mm. approaching it, or someone's waiting, then what will you do with your speed? So probably slow down. Slow, yeah. Mm. So the speed you slow down um, well really will depend upon the circumstance at the time, but approach at a speed so that you can safely stop. Yeah. Yeah, once you get there, yeah. Um, so you need to stop behind the lines and then secure your cars okay. um, so that pedestrians are safely right. crossing in front. This diagram here, you've got two crossings, you've got a central island yeah. so this is classed as two crossings so if someone's crossing on the right mm. you can proceed okay yeah does that make sense yeah so you have to treat it like two, two separate, separate crossings. crossings yeah okay so that's a zebra crossing you've got your zigzag lines which you also get at other crossings now have you come across the other crossings there's the light controlled yeah Pelicans. i think on those i've just really done them as a pedestrian yeah good so you've got the light control you've got the 
Pelican Crossing or you've got the Puffin Crossing. There are others, Toucan Crossing, mm. Pegasus Crossings as okay. well. I'm not going to go through all of them today mm. um, because we need time to practice the right. on the move stuff. So, okay. um, so with the crossings, um, with the Pelican Crossing, have you seen it flash? The amber. I think I have, yeah. When I've been waiting, I've seen the flashing yeah. lights. Yeah, um, but that's for the drivers, isn't it? Mm. The, on the traffic lights, the flashing amber. What does that mean to the drivers? Do you know? Um, is it still telling them they've got to stop? Okay, so if there's no one crossing, mm. then they can proceed. Oh, okay. If someone's actually on the crossing, they've still got to wait. Right. Okay. Uh, red. What's that going to mean? So that's when they have to you stop. You have to stop, yeah. Okay, green, obviously, you have to assess, yeah. So, again, the first thing you do is spot the crossing, mm. maybe a sign, look at the lights, uh, zigzag lines, etc. Once you've spotted it, what routine are you going to use? Uh, the MSM. Great, routine. excellent. Scan both sides, look at the colour of the light, that dictates whether you stop or proceed, yeah. Yep. Um, so again, your speed is subject to uh, what's going on at the crossing in terms of pedestrian activity, but also the colour of the light, right. and that dictates your speed. Again, a speed should be such that you can stop safely when you get yeah. there, yeah? So it could be first gear, it could be second gear, third, just depends on the circumstance. Okay. Again, don't worry, I'll guide you once we get going on the move, yeah? Right, that's great. Zigzags, what do they mean? Um, is it sort of just marking out the area where the crossing is? It does, but also it means you're not allowed to park there or overtake. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. know that one. Yeah, so if you imagine that you, the, the vehicle was parked on the zigzags, um, what does that do to your view as you approach? Uh, oh, you wouldn't be able to see the so people So if there's properly. a pedestrian there, mm. it could be dangerous, couldn't it? Yeah. So hence the reason that you uh, cannot park there and similarly overtake as well so if you're overtaking you've also got a situation where the, the situation is blocked isn't it right yeah okay so that's the reason for in terms of overtaking you you're not allowed to overtake the leading moving motor vehicle right okay yeah? or one that stopped to give way okay um so like i say there are other crossings um other things you need to be aware of never beckon anyone onto the crossing. You know, can you tell me why you might not beckon? Uh, is it perhaps if there's another car coming? Yeah, excellent, excellent. The, the, so for instance, if you beckon this pedestrian here, yeah, vehicle from ahead might not have seen you beckon. Mm. Pedestrian steps out into danger. Oh, see. So yeah. you're calling them into danger. Mm -hmm. So these are th the things that you need to consider when um, approaching pedestrian crossings. Um, there are other aspects of the crossings, um, such as the different types as well, but we'll stick to this for now. If yeah. we come to uh, across any others, I'll uh, discuss it with you now. Okay, then, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what, what do you like to do now? Would you like me to help you through? Would you like to have a go? Would you like me to question you as we approach these crossings? Um, I suppose just as I have a go, perhaps you could just uh, remind me, perhaps, or ask, ask me questions, like you said. Oh, okay, fine. Just to see if I remember. Excellent. So we'll share the responsibility okay. to keep us safe, the car safe, and the environment safe. Right, good. Okay, so we'll get going then. Okay, great. 